Well, old chap, perhaps we could arrange a demonstration right here. Jolly good show. It jolly well isn't. Your little demonstration just cost Uncle Sam $95 in welding costs, 15 in paint. Ah, ah, ah. Hold your calculator, Dr. Carday. We know U.S. Senate send you to calculate cost per mission of G.I. Joe, but mission not started yet. If you want to see G.I. Joe in action, now's your chance. Big Ben, I just want to thank you for being so cooperative. Oh, my dear Dr. Carday, the pleasure is mine. Why don't you call me Deborah? Hammer just cost the U.S. taxpayers $532,000.34. And if we're not careful, you and I may end up costing them a great deal more. Get down! Oh! Oh! Are you all right? Yes. But this rip is going to cost Uncle Sam at least $15 to repair. I say, gents, why the long faces? Deborah, uh, Dr. Carday, is only following her orders just as we are. Big Ben, not only did you bring back a jar of explosive sap as a souvenir, but your sweet little Dr. Carday has turned you into a sap as well. Give me that. You know as well as I do that there's a lot of political pressure to cut military spending. That is all very good, but when it take away half our missiles, reduce laser power by 70%, and turn most important land-based vehicle in struggle against Cobra into dump truck, well, forgive me for saying bad thing about U.S. Senate, but I say they go too far. G.I. Joe is cut right out of fight against evil of Cobra, and I might as well return to Mother Russia and never see cable TV again. Our guests have arrived. So far, so good. But your plan had better work, because it's costing Cobra plenty. Don't worry, Cobra Commander. It's working already. Thanks to Dr. Carday, we've convinced the U.S. Senate to send the Joes here at such low strength that capturing the Joes and seizing the General will be child's play. Zorana is correct, Commander. And once the General is in our possession... G.I. Joe will be at my mercy! The one quality I have never possessed! Welcome to Battle World, gentlemen. The ultimate battle simulation training ground. You'll be sent to different worlds to battle android warriors, and your object is to avoid being kissed. Gee, I don't think Big Ben will like that. Actually, gentlemen, I'm speaking of K-I-S-S, -S, killed in simulated situation. Of course, no one will be hurt in any way. Look out, the snakes are here. You see, it's only a harmless beam of light fired by an android. However... You have been K-I-S-S. You are out of the game. What I huh? say? What? If I hear those words, it will mean that G.I. Joe is unable to defeat an enemy economically. And then Senate budget cuts put us out of game for real. Now remember your objective is to reach Battle World Central Control. Without getting kissed. I'll be rooting for you. Now get to your vehicles. The game has begun. All right, gents. Let's give it our best. We've got to find out what Cobra's done with Dr. Carday. Probably locked her up and threw away the key. Same as they've done with us. Just wait until that lovesick Big Ben discovers who he's really fallen for. You mean Dr. Carday is really... Serena, love. And I must say, I'm a lot more fun than that tight-fisted government penny pincher I was pretending to be. You know, I really do fancy you, Big Ben. All you have to do is resign from G.I. Joe, and we could have some great times together. What'd you say, love? Betrayed G.I. Joe for the love of a dreadnought snake? I could never sink that low. I told you he'd be repulsed. Yes, isn't it delightful? 
Shut your gobs, both of you! And you! Take that horrified look off your face! You're Cobra's prisoner now, and you'll stay that way! Falling for a Cobra undercover agent. How could I have been such a sap?